Today I would like to talk about how to read music more accurately and faster. Uh, in the video, I will provide a step-by-step -step tutorial so you can follow along and understand what every single step is. And so the first step is you need to understand the concept of skips and steps. So here I have um, the music staff whiteboard. So a skip is essentially when you have two notes and they are going from space to space or going from skip uh, from line to line and it looks like this space to space and line to line so when you have that that means you have a skip an example could be C and E so this is a skip because between C and E they're skipping a middle note, which is the D. Now, for a step, a step is when you have two notes. <clears throat> They're either going from space to line or going from a line to space. And they look like that right here. So, <clears throat> for, for a step, um, obviously you won't be skipping any notes so for example we'll have C going from C to D or D to E so this is what we call uh, steps and so this is the very first concept that you have to understand it's skips and steps and so for very young beginners I will use my hand and I will sing the, the letters out loud for them. So, for example, E, uh, C, and E, right? If E, it's on the line. C, it's on the line below. So that's a skip, right? E and C. So these are the five lines of the staff. And then here are the four spaces on the staff. Now I, I, I will also sing. If E, it's on the line. Mm, mm, D, it's in the space below. So that would be a step. Okay, so I will use my hand and I will sing um, skips and steps with them. And I'll have them do the same thing. Uh, now, of course, uh, a child will have to understand um, the letters first, right? Uh, you, they need to know where the letters are. But if they don't know the letters yet, you can use selfish. So, for example, I can um, replace C and E with uh, uh, so and me, something like that, right? So. Uh, so if so, it's on the line, me, it's on the line below. And then step, you can say, if so, if so, it's on the line, fa, it's in the space below. And then, of course, you can do different combinations, right? You can do uh, space to space, line to line, line to space, space to line. And uh, the, the purpose is to help uh, a child to be familiar with uh, skips and steps. So once you understand uh, the concept of skips and steps, the next step is to understand the clefs. Okay, you have treble clef and bass clef. Now there is not much, not a whole lot you need to know. You for at this point, you just need to understand that if you see treble clef, then you use your right hand. If you see the bass clef, then you use your left hand. And one game that I use a, a lot, quite a lot with my, with my younger beginners is that I ask them to raise the uh, correct hand. I'll say treble clap, right hand, bass clap, left hand, and they love it. They all enjoy it. You know, it's super easy, but it really reinforces the idea that when they see treble clap, they use right hand. And then when they see the bass clap, they use left hand, at least for right now. Okay. So once they understand the clap, then I use the step number three is I draw out what I call the music Christmas tree. Okay, I will draw very quickly right here. What I what I do is that I draw the middle C and then I draw one note on each line. So it looks like this. And what I do is I turn it sideways like this. You see this right here? Okay, sideways right here. And then I teach them to read like this. Okay, not the traditional way, but like this. And what I do is, this is the top of the Christmas tree. And then right here, this is line number one. 
and bass clef, it's the mirror of treble clef. So this is also line number one. Line number two, line number two, three, three, four, four, five, and then five right there, okay? So after, after introducing the music's Christmas tree to them, I then proceed to ask them to put both of their thumbs on middle C. So they're reading, they're reading the top of the Christmas tree. And then I ask them, all right, now look at the first line of the treble clef. Now remember, first line is this line. And also bass clef, the first line, it's it's this line, not this one. This is the first line on the bass clef. So I will ask them to play the first line. Now we know that from line to line, it's a skip, right? So they already know the concept of a skip. So they go to a skip, right? They don't even know, they don't even need to know that's an E. They just need to know it's a skip, okay? All right, and then I'll ask them, okay, look at the first line of bass clef, and then they go that way. Now, why would they know the right hand's going that way and the left hand going that way? Because of the Christmas tree, right? You see that the right hand is going um, going that direction and the left hand is going that direction. That's why I have them read sideways, so they know the right hand goes to the goes to this direction and then the left hand goes to that direction. Okay, and then proceed to the second line, and then the third. So now, when you're teaching this, you need to make sure they look at the line and say, okay, this is the first line and have them play that. Have them look at the second line and play that. And then, uh, sorry, uh, so second line, have them look at the third line and then play the note. So, because they need to associate the lines with what they're playing. This is very, uh, very important, okay? This is very critical. So they need to associate the lines with the notes. So after they, they've done that, then I will turn it back to normal and I'll ask them, okay, now, oops, sorry about that. So you will proceed to write any random notes on, on say, treble clef, for example, here. And then you can ask them, what is the number of the line? Okay, so then you will count one, two, three, four. Oh, it's the fourth line, right? So now find the fourth skips from middle C, right? So then they will do from middle C, right? One first skip, second skip, third skip, fourth skip. And they immediately know that is the D. So the, the great benefit of this method is that they, oh, they, um, they will play the right note. They also play the right note in the right place. One of the most common problems is that, oh, they know it's a D, but they will play all sorts of Ds on, on the piano without knowing where it is exactly. But by using this method, by reading, uh, by, by reading the skips and steps, using the lines, they know exactly where the notes are. Okay. And then I, and of course, you want to test them on both clefs, okay? So, and then I'll do, let's see here. All right, this note, what number is it? Now, remember, this is not the fourth, not the fourth, it's the second line. So, one, two, the second line on bass clef. So, on bass clef, you do, you, the second line is the second skip. So, then, so we'll go, uh, so from C, okay, this is the first skip, and then this is the second skip. Okay, so then they will know how to read all the lines. Now, what about the spaces, right? So let's see, for example, we have, I draw an A, right, in the space. So it's the same. I ask them which line is closest to this uh, note in the space. So we know is one, two. The second line on triple clef is closest, right? So now, this is why they need to understand uh, skip and uh, skip and, uh, and steps, because on the, the on the second line to the space it's a step. So second line to the space it's a step. Okay, and so what they need to do is they find the second space. Okay, uh, sorry, the second the second line, right? Second skip, 
So first skip, second skip. Oh, then the A, the that presume they don't know. I mean, assuming they don't know that's an A, but they know that it is a step above the line. So they proceed to play the correct note. All right. So this way, again, it's a great way to read music because you are able to associate what's on the music with what's on the keyboard. And that applies to everyone. Doesn't matter if you're five years old or 90 years old, it will really, really help you read music much faster. Now, and then after you understand how the, the skips and steps, the line, reading the line, how it works, then you can, um, you, no longer, you no, no longer have to count every note from middle C, okay, right? So for example, um, I'll use the treble clef again. I'll use the, the D as an example right here. Now, so this is one, two, three, four. This is the fourth skip, right? And this is the fifth skip. Now, I don't need to count one, two, three, four, because our, and one, two, three, four, five. I don't have to count from middle C anymore. All I need to know is this is the fourth line. Oh, this is the fifth line. So if I'm, if I'm just reading the intervals and I know that it's one, two, three, four, this is the fourth, right? Oh, fifth skip. There you go. That's my fifth skip. So it is not necessary for me to count one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four, and then count one, one, two, three, four, five. So you don't need to do that. After you know how to read the lines, all you need to do is just to just to find the relationship between all the lines. So from fourth line to fifth line, or from fourth line to the second line. So so that way it's even faster, much faster. Okay. So um, <clears throat> I, I'm sure that a lot of us, including myself, when we were little, we learned how to read music by mnemonics, right? Using uh, 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 all cows eat grass or, or what was that, face, you know, things like that. But, I mean, they help, you know, they're great tips. But they actually, in the long run, slow you down quite a bit. But by reading the skips, you can just go boom, 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 right? Just by reading the skip. Um, which skip is that, and then um, even for the left hand, it's, it's the same thing. And so that way you can read music much faster and much more accurately. So it's by reading the skips and then steps. That's all you need to uh, uh, understand and master is the skips and steps. So that's it for t um, today's tutorial on reading. And if you have any more questions, uh, leave uh, leave me a comment and be it the more specific you are the better I can help you in uh, uh, Resolving your concerns and so thank you so much for watching today today's video, and I hope I'll see you in the next one